I think it will help us get help us get healthy, help us focus on what we're doing. It's a big week. Yeah, you knew it was gonna probably come down to Capitol in the pod, and here it is. Yeah, all along it's you know they they have a great program. They do a great job. Uh, Coach Simmons and the staff, the, they're they're strong in the weight room. They have tradition, you know, a lot more tradition than what we have here at Rocky, and they do a great job teaching it. And so every time those two, our team and their team lines up, it's gonna be a battle. A little bit different Saturday afternoon game. It's not usual for high school football. Any problems with that at all? Do you see? You know, it'll be our first one, so we'll find out. I, I hope not. I mean, I, our kids have been pretty resilient to change and adjustments as we've had to make them. Um, I know they're excited about it because mm-hmm. it feels like the you know college atmosphere and a college uh, feeling. It'll be the only game in town, and hopefully the place is packed and everybody's rocking. Tell me about your offensive team now. I, you know, got two quarterbacks going at it. A little different look than I saw earlier in the season when I watched your game against Centennial last week. Ryan Beard's healthy, mm-hmm. and early in the year we wanted to do this. It was our plan all along, and then Ryan hurt his knee during the summer, and it just took him a little longer to come back. He couldn't. He wasn't on balance throwing the football, and he has a really big time arm. Uh, sees the field well. He's a good athlete, obviously, with what you see in baseball. Yep. And, uh, he's able to do those things, and so we've been able to, uh, you know, establish an offense that's. You know, we're not just one package. You got to stop us in multiple different layers. Yeah, I was impressed with Beard's uh, arm. You know, and the fact that he's a, a southpaw, unbelievable. Yeah, it kind of it, it's kind of crazy watching that release because you mm-hmm. want to say, "Hey, get the back shoulder through." Well, he is. Well, you know, he's just the wrong <laughs> arm throwing the football, and he's got good feet. And like I said, he's a big body mm-hmm. kid. He can, you know, you saw him on the run. He can push people off. He has the ability to stand in the pocket and, and do some things. And he makes good decisions. It seems like you guys spread it out a lot, and that really opens up the run for you. It does, because again, if you got to prepare for a spread offensive team, then you got to prepare for our option attack. Mm-hmm. It, it causes you got to figure out, you know, what poison you want to pack. Getting on to defense now, obviously, you're, you're probably facing maybe the best offensive team you guys have faced all year. You know, Eagle is out there, but uh, obviously Connor Polson and company with Capital, pretty good. Uh, Connor's the best quarterback in the state. I mean, he does a great job, and he you can see he's playing very comfortably. Mm-hmm. You know, and he's when he's back there, there's not a whole lot he hasn't seen. He's been starting for him for a few years. Uh, when he runs the ball, he's effective. You know, he's one of those kids that can line up linebacker and be a great mm-hmm. player. Coming down to the it's the uh, pod championship game. I mean, it's the end of the season here, getting ready for the playoffs. You guys peeking right when you want to? I think so. I think we're moving in the right direction. I like where we're at as a football team. I'm excited to see our growth again from the, uh, last week to this week. Uh, we've had our last two weeks, our offense has had the best performance, and defense has at times been really good. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I, I like to see – you know, some of the little flare-ups that, you know, come every once in a while. I like to see those go away and have that perfect game. We're getting closer. All right, get ready to tee it up here. That's right. We'll be ready come Saturday. I promise we'll show up.